Good morning. Sorry, sorry. Good evening, everybody. It's been a while since I've been doing a recording and done a video. Now, the, today's video is a request. Now, why am I saying is today's video is a request? Is because, well, it is. Now, today is a little bit different from my usual, hey, let's just get to it kind of jump ahead. And it's kind of one of those videos where you guys wouldn't find, you find this completely unexpected. Now, today's video is actually about, um, Regashrim. Regashrim has been our long-standing, long-abiding friend who is one of our main powerhousers. Now, mind you, my team today is very simple. Now, mind you, I don't usually run a team based on five stars, as now that we have True Awakening, but hey. Now, today's video is, like I said, it's about Regashrim. Now, what do I mean by Regashrim? Now, what I mean is, basically, we're going down to the side story, and we're going to My Will, My Rage. Now, my friend's been having quite the difficult time trying to defeat this boss due to the fact that the boss keeps killing him. Now, as you can see, my team is full of five stars mostly and one true weakened unit. Um, as you can see, I do not have uh, Durin as maxed right now, but <clears throat> nonetheless, this is going to be one of those noob how-to, you well, yes, noob how-to guides to defeat Regershim Phantom's boss, the Masterless Dragon. Now, I'm going to completely control this battle. I am not leaving it to my uh, little auto battle. No... And I'm going to show off and how to defeat him. Now, mind you, this battle is a little more difficult than it seems. And sometimes you can actually get off with that stun right there, that, that frost right there. Now, what am I doing here is basically... I'm cutting my losses just in case, as you can see there. Alright, so now every time you see him do his art, make sure that if... I'm going to say this, you will need either a unit that freezes or is DPS. Now, yes, I'm using Goku uniforms. I do highly recommend using Goku, bringing in a Goku uniform. Now, mind you, the reason why I recommend it is because Goku uniform is very good to have around your team. Now, why do you see me here doing what I'm doing? Now, every time he's... Oh, sorry. It's because, well, I'm trying to use something that isn't... Um... Pay to win. Or pay to play. Now, mind you, most of the time that we do face those kind of situations where we can't use pay to stop, pay to win stuff to defeat bosses. That does happen. It does occasionally happen with me. And it becomes a lot more difficult to play the game. Now, mind you, this is all a how-to guide how to defeat this boss without the need to actually have true awakened units or really units that rely heavily on... Um, yeah, true awakening. As you can see there, I completely negated all that damage thanks to um, Durant's art. Don't underestimate Durin, because Durin is still actually a boss. He is actually a really good unit still, no matter how it looks. I've said this before in um, C3 chat, but I believe everyone understood from the very beginning. Do not underestimate the units you receive, even if they are weak. Now, mind you, I'm getting my butt kicked over here. <laughs> And I'm hoping I can survive most of this. Oh, there we go. Got my healing in. Got my second wind. Let me get keep healing up my team. And yes, this is all about survivability, really. As you can see, I'm mainly surviving due to Duran's uh, art here. And um, healing my team with my very favorite 
healer of the year. I forgot his name. He always heals 15%, oh, sorry, 30% of the HP of your team. So make sure you always have him. He's always good to have around. And he cuts to the chase of what you really need. Now, mind you, as you can see, the DPS coming from here is mainly Corsair and our little vamp, our little demon Millennia. I forgot her name. And there you guys have it. <clears throat> now, mind you, all my units have been maxed along with their defensive stats. So this might not be as easy and simple as my battle is, but still, it's okay so you guys can see how it's done. Now, mind you, there is other other ways to defeat this boss, mainly nuking or reducing his damage. And I'm going to show you one of those very teams. Yes, I actually have all these units, and they're very overpowered. <laughs> Sorry, I've gotten a little bit sick as a recent thanks to my parent. They got sick, and now they're passing along the fever. Uh, yeah, really does suck. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. Mm, defensive play would be actually. I don't know why I didn't use this when I first. You know, what? actually, guys, make sure you use a uh, phantom mask in this battle. I keep forgetting about phantom mask, which would be a lot better than that dagger when it comes to dark type enemies. I forget about that weapon. And about that equipment? It comes in handy. Uh, let's go with... Always, Fina's Del Wings. Yes, I have Fina's Del Wings. They do come in handy. And they're actually considered, almost considered... Actually, they, I think they are in C3's view as well. And that they are considered the best healing equipment in-game at the moment. But, mind you, that's not the point. And let's get started. Now, yes, I'm going to be doing Masterless Dragon with this team. Now, I don't have all DPS, as you can see. Actually, no, that's wrong. I do have all DPS, as you can see. Oh, dear. And here comes the blast wave of negative proportions. Oh my. And like as you can see there, the boss is actually getting defeated quite easily. This is just a little practice video so I can show you guys how strong my teams really are versus that team I just gave you. That team was actually a mixed team, basically to see how quick I can actually handle him. <coughs> and eliminate him from there. Well, that was devastating. Mind you, this team, like I said, is all just mixed match, too. I'm <laughs> joking. It's not a mixed match. It's actually pretty powerful, honestly. And there you guys have it. Second, second time's the term. This time using an all tr awoken team and a team that was based on magic only. Mind you, Mako is the support here, the supporting healer, whereas the DPS comes from both our very lovely lady of the, a lady of appearances, um, Alma. And along with our DPS coming from our human friend, I forgot her name. 
Uh, her name is Ruth Courtney. Mind you, I have the big boobs ladies coming in. Like, geez. I think Mako's the only one flat chested amongst this team. <sighs> wow. That was, that's just messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's all there is for today. This has really been a uh, how-to guide to defeat. Um, to defeat that Regustrin's dragon without the need of having very good equipment. Mind you, Phantom Mask, Iris' bikini, I would could, you could trade it out for uh, ma magic armor, which is actually a common one everyone should probably have by now. Eh, sort of. I'm not 100% certain about that detail, but it's a common armor that I considered in my book common. Or if you guys have gotten it, Iris' bikini would be second to none on this situation because it also reduces dark damage by 30%. So you get a 40%, a 30%, a 10 difference from magic armor versus um, the 40% 30, from Iris' bikini. So, mix matching in there. Uh, like I said, uh, millennia, millennia is all about DPS, crit rate for all allies and skill arts every time she uses her art. So more damage each time she casts her art. Then we have Parla, who was our main focus on healing and surviving. And, like I said, Parlet is actually pretty good. Oh, there it is. It's not 30%, but 40% HP. Um, he also, he also adds art needs 3 up to either him, yeah, to the team. Unless that's himself. No, that's himself, actually. Oh, no, that's actually to the whole team. He actually increases all the whole team's art gauge. I haven't tested, I haven't been watching Keeping Eye. You can keep an eye on this video and see if he does do it. I'm not 100% certain myself. So, and like I said, Durin with his art of reflecting damage towards the enemy and it getting a thousand damage, which comes in actually handy for this boss, especially since he is helpful with that negation. And he can also revive fallen allies, just in case of an emergency. Though it's only a 50% chance that he revives them, right? Right, full ally with 50. Oh no. Okay. I guess it's. I, I know it's a. Someone said there's a certain percent chance that he is. He will revive them. And there you guys have it. That'll be all for today's video. You guys already know about mostly about Corsair, uh, Millennia, Parlet, and Durin at this point by now. But mind you, make sure you take advantage of every unit you have. No unit is useless. And I wish you guys the best of luck and have fun. Like I said, this was a request video and have a good day.